First start in a Lincoln shirt, you must be pleased to get that. Yeah, it's good to, to finally get one in. I really enjoyed it. It's, I've obviously been here a couple of months now, just walking my way in, getting settled, but yeah, I'm delighted to finally get one and hopefully many more now towards the end of the season. And how do you feel you did today? Yeah, it was all right. Like, I think it was a pretty bad game, if I'm honest. I think I'll we'll be the first to admit it. It was a bit of a horrible game. I think that's, that's the way they like to do things. But yeah, look, as we said in there, if we're not going to win, don't lose. And I think that showed today. Like, draw's not a bad point against them. We're both going for promotion. So. Yeah, look, we'll go again next week against Spurs. And do you feel that as a player when you're in a game? Do you feel like it's lacking in quality? Can you tell that when you're in, you're it, in the in the action? Yeah, you can. Like you can see it after, and you can hear the crowd a bit, and you can kind of hear, and you can kind of understand it almost. Like we've all played many games that have been brilliant, and then we've played in a lot of games like that that just kind of both teams don't get going. It's a bit of a horrible game. Nobody does well, but. But we didn't lose, so it's the most important thing. And it must be nice again to get a good 80 minutes under your belt because it's been a, a strange for you. It was the same for, for Danny Mandroya last year, coming in when you do with your season finishing at a different time to here. Yeah, it's very different. Like I arrived over here in November, so like it's my first 80 minutes, my first full game in nearly four months. So like, look, I really enjoyed it, and the whole part about it is being ready. Like I know the last probably three or four weeks, I wanted to get into the team, but you need to stay focused, stay ready, and, and that's when the manager calls upon you. You need to be ready to go. And that position in the midfield three, is that the kind of position that suits you? Because you've almost been a mystery man. We're not really sure where your best position is. <laughs> I don't know myself. So, uh, no, look, as, as I said, when you're called upon, you have to play anywhere. I, I was never going to give out where I'm playing. It's probably, I've never actually played there genuinely. It's probably the lowest I've ever played. Normally I'd play higher, but I enjoyed it. Like, I think you see a bit more of the ball. You get on, you're able to dictate the game a bit. But, yeah, look, I enjoy it. And I'll, I'll play anywhere, any week. So. Uh, and, and if people say, you know, you never want a, a teammate to get injured, but when somebody does get injured, it's somebody else's opportunity. And we've seen that with, with Ethan Hamilton ruled out, and, and now we don't know with Connor. I guess you want to see this as your chance to, to state your claim and, and remain in the team now. Yeah, like, it's, it's horrible for Hamilton. Like, he's, he's such a good fella, and it's terrible to see that he's, he's got an injury like that. But then, as you say, it gives you a chance to get into the team. Obviously, it's not a nice way to do it, but like, it's, it's part of football, it's part of life. It's happened to me many times, so you just gotta gotta take a chance now and, and keep staying in the team, keep moving forward. The unbeaten run up to ten now, and probably the, the toughest test of it next week. Yeah, well, obviously Barnsley are they're right up there. They're, they're doing well, but like, we're ten unbeaten, like so. Why can't we go the rest of the way? Why not? Like we went on, I think eight, where we didn't win. So now we're on ten that we won. So like we can keep going and keep this one going.